Right, folks, um, I'm just doing a video on last night's uh, wrestling that I attended. The WWE had a Raw and SmackDown event at Manchester, and I was very kindly invited and given tickets uh, by a good gentleman called Tom Leach and his good lady wife, uh, well, his girlfriend, uh, his partner, shall we say, partner, uh, Lucy Fallon. Uh, she is an actress in Coronation Street and plays Bethany Platt. So I have been mixing with some right superstars just lately. And uh, the last few days of my life have been quite unbelievable. Isn't that right, June? Yes, yeah, sorry, I wasn't listening. She wasn't listening. June wasn't listening to me. I don't blame her. Um, so anyway, I want to just give a quick uh, a review as such, really, on SmackDown. I won't give any spoilers away. Uh, well, I can do the SmackDown, because I think that's been actually shown on uh, Sky. Uh, it started off with Sky, and um, it, it's, it's, uh, it's great. I, I, I can't be doing with Baron Corbin at the moment, though. He's got so much potential to be a heel. Uh, but they put him in that stupid bloody cape and that scepter thing and that hideous crown. It's just, I don't know what it is. Is this some kind of Game of Thrones thing? Um, whatever. It, it's ridiculous. Um, but the whole event was really, really good. And uh, I'll just fly, it was a double taping of Smackdown and then Raw. And we, I took my, uh, my nephew... And uh, we thought it'd be a real long drawn out affair, but to be fair to the WWE, they kept everything moving really well. Um, it was just a great night out we had. Um, I'm just gonna look at some of the pictures I took to just get my memory back uh, working. <sighs> do, 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 do. Right, so right, out comes Roman and all that, and uh, that was the main event at the end of SmackDown, and it was a good one. Um, I can't really fault the WWE for anything they did last night. The music was tremendous. It was just the right volume. Um, everybody seemed to be enjoying it. Uh, the crowd were getting involved as well. And that was it. I, like I said, I, can't, I don't really want to give too much away because people might not watch have watched it yet. So it's just one of the things. This is more of a, just a thank you to Tom and Lucy for that. Uh, I'm at... Uh, Stephen tries and a few of his mates. That was quite entertaining. We sat with them and uh, they had a thoroughly good time. Um, we watched the SmackDown and then we went on to Raw and, you know, Seth Rollins. I can't understand the booing for Seth Rollins at the moment. I don't understand it. I know, is it is because it he's always coming out as the good guy and giving it the John Cena thing? I think that's probably what his problem's going to be. Um, he's just going to keep giving it the... Yeah, I come out, I fight, I'm a fighting champion. It gets a bit boring in the end. Um, I watched the um, Lana and uh, Rusev and Bobby Lashley, and I have got to say, I cannot see the point of that story. It's it's embarrassing, and I don't know what the WWE are actually thinking there, but I just cannot work it out. It's... I can't see where it's going to end. I mean, every feud that uh, wrestlers have, you always can see an end to it. But and now apparently she's carrying these unborn child, and what what is going on? It just doesn't make sense. And the problem is, they've got enough good storylines to, to, you know, the good good characters to make better storylines than this, and it's just it's cringeworthy and it's boring. And the crowd was letting them know that it is boring. Uh, Rusev is better than that. Lana's better than that. I don't understand why they brought Bobby Lashley back because I never rated him first time round, and I don't know why they brought him round. Brought him round again this time. I just cannot. This, but the WWE have got better wrestlers than Bobby Lashley, who are being pushed aside. Um, but even so, uh, Shinsei Nakamura is brilliant. You've got to love him. You've just got to love him he is just a unique talent and he's so entertaining to watch Sami Zayn he's another one he's he's another one with so much potential but just doesn't seem to be <coughs> used in the right way I think with him mentioning of the rival wrestling company 
that was the most entertaining thing that Sami Zayn has done for a long while. It's the, the thing is, the WWE should take note that the AEW is there. And I think they should actually use it to the uh, WWF's advantage. Um, th there's got to be a way that they can turn it around and make out that, yeah, we know you're there, but you're not, you're not there. The WWE could actually do that. Um, it was great to see Braun Strowman. I predicted that um, when he met Tyson Fury, that would happen. Um, I'd, like I said, I don't want to give the spoiler away, but I said to my nephew, I says, he's going to do this with Tyson and, it, and it was there it was good obviously Tyson's got a fight coming up he can't do anything major now can he so he's got to be looking after himself um, so yeah that was good um, Becky Lynch she's awesome uh, Charlotte Flair once again and the uh, I can't remember whatever they are Warriors I can't say it. they were good um, I didn't bother watching that Andre what's his name I can't be doing without a vegan woman <coughs> but um then out comes Ricochet. I think they've got the ice machine wrong, uh, the smoke machine. That was just that was just ridiculous. There were more ice machine smoke than anything. You couldn't see him. And I think Randy Orton was standing in the ring, uh, waiting for him to come in. The next thing you know, as he sees him, Ricochet just bouncing along over in, in the smoke, which was quite entertaining. It was a good last fight uh, with the um, uh, with Randy and. Ricochet and the uh, other lad, I can't remember his name. Oh God, I can't remember his name. And the OC, they were the opposition. It was a good fight. The, you know, it dragged on a little bit too long in my book. Um, Gallows and Anderson, I don't understand them. Sometimes they've got they've got another team that have got potential, but just don't seem to get pushed in the right way. I, t I wish he'd get rid of that stupid makeup he wears with his eyes. I think he just gets painted like that, ah, and it, it looks ridiculous. About time he grew up. Um, Randy Orton, once again, he, he's worth it to see him pay the money just to see him himself. But the highlight of the night was The Fiend coming out. And The Fiend just... that You can actually feel the arena just surging with energy when his music hits. It's, it's not Stone Cold, it's not Rock, and it's not The Undertaker. But if the WWE actually used the Fiend in the right way, that he, he could be up there. He honestly could be up there with The Rock, Stone Cold, and The Undertaker. Because there's just something about him. He's a very, very clever guy. I'd like to see him back with Braun Strowman somehow, or I'd like to see Braun Strowman used properly and not as the cla as the uh, company clown as he's being done at the moment. But. Um, once again, no Brock Lesnar. They, uh, anybody really surprised about that? Bro oh, that's not a spoiler. Brock Lesnar weren't there. Waste of time. He's just a complete waste of time. He's on mega money. And all the other they do is the wrestlers carry him. And I, I, I just feel sorry for the other wrestlers who are having to do his work. I would never, ever pay to see Brock Lesnar. I'd pay to see Paul Heyman, but I would never pay to see Brock Lesnar. Um, but apart from that, the whole of the night was brilliant. We had a great time. Um, it was just good. It was just one of the things, and um, I had the old uh, VIP pass, which was top the night off superbly. Um, on the downside, I would just like to say the uh, Manchester Arena staff were totally clueless. Well, not all of them, but most of them. Uh, when I went to pick up my tickets, I was put in the wrong lane. Um, and I stood there and I said to the bloke, why are all these people walking by? Why are you letting all these in? He says, because they're on the guest list. I says, I'm on the guest list. I said, I told that lad up there on the guest list and they put me in this lane. And they said, apologies. So then I picked my tickets up um, for the experience, prime experience, and I got sent outside to join a queue there. Um, so I can't see how being a VIP prime experience means standing outside in the freezing cold. So I questioned it again with another steward he took me to another place, uh, sat me in this uh, in this lane, uh, with a, in a queue with all the others, and I says, this ain't right either. I can't be a VIP. And I mean, I'm not being big any right, but I got tickets given to me, yeah? And there was like hundreds of people in front. I says, these can't all be VIP. So I went and seen another uh, yellow coat, Heidi High, may as well have been, and they pointed me in the right direction 
And then I saw a lady in a security coat which was purple and she knew everything. She knew everything and where I should have gone and what everything. And she pointed me in the right direction. So, if Manchester Arena uh, do happen, the bosses happen to watch this, your staff was rubbish. Yeah, absolutely. I could not believe it. There was a bloke in front of me. He was put in the wrong place twice. It, it was an absolute joke. And especially after what happened there, that disaster, um, you know, I even said to one of the guys who told me to go and stand outside, I says, you've sent me to the wrong lane again. And he goes, well, you're not in that suite then, are you? I says, oh, I says, you obviously don't know where I'm supposed to go. I says, you're here to pay to tell me where to go. And I says, at the moment, I'm going to tell you where to go. So, so Manchester Arena, you've got to get your staff sorted out. The, the purple coats, brilliant. The, girl, the ones at the front of the desk where you went to the ticket uh, box office thing to get your tickets, clueless. Absolutely clueless. But apart from that, great night and um, hopefully it will happen again. Alright folks, laters.